It is day two of the Great New York State Fair. The gates are open today just a couple of hours from now. And today is Law Enforcement Day at the fair. Our Brandon Roth right now is live at the state fairgrounds talking to state police about what is new this year. Good morning, Brandon. Hey, Lisa, that's right. Law Enforcement Day here at the fair, and they have a really neat exhibit, the New York State Police here at the fair, and they're going to be putting on some dis special displays today. But we have with us Trooper Jack Keller. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, let's take a look here. You have uh, this really highlights how much the state police really do. And Craig, if you can kind of pan around and give them, like, take a look at you. We have a lot of different areas that troopers cover. We do, and it's a kind of, a, like you said, a sneak peek into the state police. Some of our specialty units, one thing we're definitely focusing on is the traffic services, uh, distracted driving being a, a bigger issue, and the cell phones. And then we're going to focus on speed enforcement, yeah. uh, underage drinking enforcement, just reminding those, uh, the public and those individuals who are driving yeah. or new drivers, yeah. what we focus on and what we're looking All about at. Safety. And this is, again, reinforcing. Come back over here. Uh, you know the safety about driving and here's something neat here Craig take a look here you got some of the history too look at those old uniforms and that's something uh, kind of unique that a lot of people have been uh, commenting on for us uh, giving us uh, uh, an idea and giving them an idea how we rode first on horseback back in 1917 and was something that no one really uh, yeah. remembers but we actually our first assignment was here in 1917 was the New York State Fair right. and how we rode horseback and how they uh, did tricks and right. kind of gave a display for those uh, those right. individuals who came and then of course over back here we, we have so much and so little time but back here you have one of the things really interesting you have a SWAT team or spe special operations forces yeah we uh, want to give the uh, the folks an idea of what our special operations response team does it's our version of a SWAT team and they also can see an actual show when you give that three times a day every day during yeah. the state fair speaking of show you have the rollover outside and the uh, drunk driving simulator yep we roll over convincer uh, those individuals who can uh, ride on a convincer and get an idea of what it feels like being in a six mile an hour crash right and one last thing I really want to talk about because when we talk about state police and it's right behind you Craig so let's kind of spin around you talk about the troopers that have fallen in the line of duty uh, one of the things people maybe forget about troopers jobs just how dangerous it can be and this is actually a nice exhibit new this year for trooper Amanda Anna who passed away exactly and, th and today we'll, uh, we'll have a uh, law enforcement ceremony at 1230 and at the uh, 1230 ceremony we'll be honoring Amanda mm -hmm. by laying a break in honor of her name uh, her family will be here and it gives us an opportunity to recognize not just Amanda but all law enforcement officers mm -hmm. who have given the ultimate sacrifice right and there you have it again that ceremony here uh, honoring trooper uh, Anna will be at 1230 here at the New York York State Fair and again uh, this exhibit will be all open throughout the fair so come on down and check it out and appreciate all that the New York State Police do for us here Lisa it's really remarkable absolutely Brandon they do do yeah. so much so I think it's so yeah. important I know that's one of the things I definitely want to see when I go to the fair this year thanks so much